Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we will fly with our Dehar airplane from Reykjavik airport to somewhere else in Iceland. To where? That will be a surprise because we're gonna plan the flight because it's currently not done. As you can see, the airplane is switched off. Uh, it's standing still in, the, uh, in Reykjavik on the airport. So the first thing we need to do is we need to switch on the aircraft. And if you're used to a Cessna, that's a little bit searching in the airplane. If you're used to an airliner, it's probably a little bit easier. So what you need to do is you need to switch on the battery. So have a, let's have a look at that. Uh, it's not here, it's not at the bottom part. Uh, again, also not here. Here you can see the throttle and the flaps. But if you would look here on the... Uh, top of the airplane right so on the uh, ceiling you will see a section called electric power so what you first need to do is you need to move the crash bar and then you can switch on the battery so now it's done you can leave the uh, main generator set to uh, off although that would trigger an alert or you can set it to main that will prevent that the alert will be triggered now we switched on the power, you can see that the airplane has a lot of screens. It has three screens, uh, one with the compass, one with the map, and also one for the co-pilot, which is a replica of the one for the pilot containing the compass. Uh, by default, or I would say with all the other airplanes like the Cessnas uh, we've already looked at, the navigation buttons were uh, either at the right side of the uh, screen or on the bottom. With this aircraft, it's a little bit different. Here you need to use the bottoms which are located under the uh, center display. So, how can you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to press MFD. You don't need to press MFD here, although it looks like you can select it, but you need to press the button. Maybe it's a bug in the uh, current airplane, maybe it will be fixed, I don't know. Uh, to me, it makes more sense to click on it when, when first trying it out, but it's not possible. And here you can see a lot of options. You can see the Direct 2, which allows you to plan a flight direct to something. Uh, you can see the flight plan itself, the procedures, right? The approach and the departure procedures, uh, the speed box, the waypoint information and the nearest uh, airports. So let's click on active flight plan and first at the origin. Some of you which might have looked at the previous uh, how-tos might recognize this uh, This keyboard looks like a little bit, I think, the same. Uh, I think it was on the, the Beechcraft uh, aircraft uh, which had the same. So let's specify our airport which is uh, Bravo India Romeo Kilo. As you can see it already shows up here as Reykjavik and then press the add button. So this sets the origin or the departure airport. So the next thing we want to do is we need to set up a destination. And I did some pre-work prior to recording this, this how-to and I found a nice airport which is located. Uh, I need to scroll a bit further. So here on a very small island near Iceland. Um, it's called BIVM, so Bravio India, Victor Mike. So let's first get some information about this airport. To get that, we need to press the home button. Then you can select the nearest button. And the nearest button shows you a few options. You can search for the nearest airport, the nearest intersection, the VOR, or the NDB uh, beacons. For now, we will press airport because we want to find uh, this airport. We need to use the up and down buttons to navigate to the list. And we need to search for BIVM. And here it is. I don't even want to try to pronounce the name of the airport because it's well, impossible for me, it looks like. Um, if somebody likes to do it, please do it and send me the recording. I will add it to the video. Challenge for you guys. So... 
When you select the airport, there are a few options. Uh, first thing is you can press show a map, which will uh, show it as expected already on the map here in the center display of the airport. The second thing you can do is you can request the airport information. So it shows you the name, uh, the bearing, right? So the, the course we can fly to the airport, uh, the distance and the long and latitudes. Uh, if it's a public airport, uh, what other options you have, uh, like uh, fueling, etc. Frex shows you the frequency, how you can contact the airport. Um, as you all might already expect, the runways can be found on the, the runways button. So they've got two runways, um, different lengths. Yep. Yeah. So it's it's not a very small airport. I would say it's a mid-size airport. So let's go back. Then search for the airport again. Because it reset the list. Come on. Where was it? Here it is. Because the last option I would like to show you is the insert in flight plan button. Or well, the yeah, the final option. Because there is another option, but we're not going to use it. And that's the direct route option, which you can also select to directly set us route to this airport. If we press the insert in flight plan option, it will ask us at which position we want to add it. And in this case, of course, we want to insert it at the end. And directly after it, that, you see that it sets up the plan or it sets up the uh, the line from the airport of Berk to BIVM. But we want to add some additional, uh, I would say, waypoints because we don't want to fly over the sea. Because if we would go to the VFR map and scroll back, you can see that we're traveling over the sea a lot and I want to fly as much over land. So let's add some uh, waypoints. And you can do that by using the add and route waypoint option. So the first one is Echo Lima. And as you already see, it tells you, hey, I found multiple uh, entries. Probably somewhere around the world, there are some uh, other beacons with the same name. In this case, we're going to select the one which is the most closest to you or to us, three. And then let's find another air airport or waypoint which we can use. Let's use uh, Bravo India Sheriff Foxtrot. So we select at en route waypoint that's below the already configured waypoint. Bravo India Sheriff Foxtrot. It's Selfos, this name is easier so I can pronounce it. And then add Bravo India Foxtrot Zulu. But you can see the button it has disappeared. So we need to select down and then say at en route waypoint Bravo India Foxtrot Zulu. Well, this is a little bit harder and again to pronounce. So let's let's leave it as is. Uh, let's then add uh, Bravo India, Bravo Alpha, Bravo India, Bravo Alpha. Again, it found duplicates. We're gonna edit because the other one. Well, <laughs> I can't imagine that it's that that far flying to this uh, to this airport or to this uh, waypoint. So we will select it. And then we're almost there. So then we can make, I would say, or approach to the airport. So now there are two options. We can either first go via to Xari and then back to uh, Hotel uh, Lima. So let's see if we can find Xari on our, uh, as a waypoint. And it says no matches found. Uh, probably this is this is because there are these are intersections, right? And the option is called add waypoint. Um, still trying to figure out why it sometimes doesn't recognize these options because it's well, 
might be kind of expected looking at the name of the option which is uh, at waypoint uh, but I would have expected that uh, we could add those intersections also so what we're gonna do is in that case we're gonna fly directly to uh, Hotel Lima and then press enter again And then as last waypoints, we don't need to add that waypoint because uh, BI VM is already there in the list. Now select done, and that will uh, remove the option here. It will show us the distances to the uh, different uh, different uh, beacons and waypoints, and now we're ready to depart and set fly or set course to bi uh, vm but here the tutorial stops right because as you would have expected if you would have seen some more how to's from me uh we're only setting up the flight plan uh, in the future we will really fly this course because it's also on our on my future roadmap to add some uh i would say videos about routes which we can fly I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then consider to uh, like it by pressing the like option. If you want to see more of these videos or want to stay up to date on about videos I post, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.